Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 8th through the 14th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. So what do we have for Taurus for March 8th through the 14th? What do we have for Taurus? One card, please. One card for Taurus. Door to personal healing and happiness. So if you've been in some stormy weather, the storm is over. We got the rainbow here. So that is um, a healing energy. It's a peaceful energy. It's calmness. It's serenity. It's beautiful. Okay. Um, so if the storm is over. Okay, the sun is coming out. Happiness is right here. I mean, it's interesting because I was sitting out in the sun a little while ago and I was thinking how beautiful it was. This is a very beautiful time for you. Okay, it, you may be in, in uh, awe, you know, like in a place of, wow, this is, this is just beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, you know, when a rainbow comes out, everybody stops and looks. It's, it's, it's like it's so beautiful. So I do believe that this is it may be a very uh, beautiful week for you. Whatever is happening, there's a new doorway that is opening that is uh, going to make you really, really happy by the looks of things. Um, beautiful. You may be hearing the words beautiful. Okay, um, there's a lot of serenity here, so I, I feel like you may be even, you know, it feels like something is being washed away, you know, what, what happens when it rains, it washes away, you know, all the dirt, it washes, well, it makes things dirty for a minute, but it also makes things cleaner. Um, it's like a cleansing of some sort, but anyhow, I do believe that, and, and water brings growth, so you may have been, whatever you were going through, if it was, you know, may have been dirty, it may have been uh, a little um, uncomfortable, because, you know, sometimes when you get wet, it's cold and it's uncomfortable, but it's over now. Things are about to get a lot better. If you've been frustrated and when's the sun going to come out, when the thing is going to get better, this is it. This is it. One card for Taurus, please. One card for Taurus. Justice. So this is about uh, a fair decision being made. So yeah, if, if, some, if you're going to court or you're dealing with court, something may go in your favor with the justice card. If there's any news of legalities, they may go in your favor. There could be an accident. I gotta be honest with this card. It looks like there's been some sort of accident, and that may have happened in the past, but now justice is going to be served. Uh, justice is a card of balance, truth, integrity, um, getting to the bottom of things. So uh, I do believe that this week is probably going to be a week where there's a, a, a decision that is made. You know, and whatever the decision is that's made, it's going to be a fair and just decision. Um, and I do feel like whatever this decision is, is going to go in your favor. You may be, may, may be making a decision. If, and it feels like there's some sort of arguing here. There's, and, and I don't know if the law gets involved and the law makes the decision because there's no resolution in sight with whoever you're dealing with. So there, there, there could be a, a decision that is made by a person that is in a position of authority other than yourself. But that could also be you. That could be the justice system that is making a decision. Whatever this decision is, it does open up a door for you and leads you to happiness. Okay? Now you can heal. Okay, this is, if you think about justice and judgment, there's, sometimes there's a trial. So I do believe that we've reached the end. It is, it is, it's time. It's like it's time for a verdict. It's time for healing. And it's time for happiness. So anyhow, this is definitely a week where there's a, I feel like it's a final decision that is made. Um, it's finally over, whatever that means to you. Um, Could be dealing with a Libra. It 
Ace of Swords reversed. Now there's lack of integrity here, lack of truth. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth, but if they haven't been telling the truth, the truth is definitely gonna come out with the Justice card. If somebody's been lying, you know, they haven't been telling the truth, and well, that ain't gonna work. That is not gonna work. You think about the sun. The sun is clarity. I said the sun is gonna come out. Okay, sun is clarity. You can't you can't hide anything. That is light being shed on the truth. So if somebody has been lying, the truth is probably gonna be shed. It's gonna be made very, very clear. Okay? Some sort of clarity is coming. We do have a uh, dishonest, I don't know if it's a person. I feel like there's a dishonest person here that hasn't been, well, I think I just said that hasn't been telling the truth. But you're going to be victorious. I feel like you're going to be having a victory this week. I mean, Six of Wands is progress being made. It's victory after sorrow, after there's been some sort of serious argument here. It's a serious argument, but I feel like there's going to be no more communication. There could be a, a cut in communication, you know, because the Ace of Swords reverse is, it's like no, no communication. So maybe there's going to be the end of communication. Um, that's a loss of power as well, Ace of Swords. Anyhow, I feel like you are going to have some sort of victory in a situation where there's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of argument. Or arguing it may have all been a big mess it may have been a you know unfortunate accident that happened but I do feel like things are gonna come to an end okay there's been bickering there's been fighting it's coming to an end it's over it's over it's over it's over there's a lot of respect here as well I think that you have a lot of respect you may have a lot of support there's support here there's some sort of support there's maybe even some public recognition so you, I don't know if you're getting some public recognition or people are realizing something about you, your honesty, your integrity, your truthfulness or something. Um, somebody is realizing something. The Hierophant reverse. So the Hierophant reverse is uh, disgraced. There's disgrace here. There's disgrace. There's there's a broken marriage or a broken commitment or a broken relationship that hasn't worked out. Somebody may be embarrassed. There could be public embarrassment here. I don't know where that's coming from, but I feel like there could be. I feel like we have a father figure here that may have abused their power. Um, this person, or if it's not a father figure, it's somebody that is in a position of authority. This person isn't very spiritual. They aren't very grounded. Um, they do not follow the rules. This is a rule breaker. I feel like whoever this rule breaker is, I feel like they're going to be embarrassed by their actions. Some sort of truth is going to come out about this person. Um, and you're going to, you're going to be, this, this whole situation is coming to an end, whatever it is. A hero font reversed is having a hard time doing the right thing because due to social pressure. You are dealing with somebody that is driven by society. They can't they don't they, they are driven by what everybody else has to say. You know, they they really want to uh look a certain way, but that's just the way they look. That's not who they really are. I for some of you there could literally be an accident this week where there's a car accident that causes a huge uproar, causes a huge fight, blaming, you know, blaming the other person, you know, and and somebody you know, ends up getting embarrassed over the whole situation. Very interesting. Um, oh, there goes one. Oh, the High Priestess Upright. So the High Priestess Upright is a very self-sufficient individual. This is somebody that is, is spiritual, uh, intuitive, reflective, and observant. So we have an observant individual here whose gut is telling them that whoever they're dealing with or whoever it is that they are observing isn't telling the truth, okay? This is a liar, and this high priestess knows it. I mean, the high priestess is very, very intuitive. So we have an intuitive individual that is, I feel like this person is discerning a situation, you know, observing, reflecting, going within, and really seeing that somebody is lying, that somebody isn't telling the truth. It's pretty clear that they're not telling the truth. 
Anyhow, I do feel like you are probably going to be receiving signs this week. Okay, really pay attention to the signs. Listen to your gut. All right, I feel like um, you may want to spend some time alone because of your healing from something. Maybe you're healing because um, of an accident that happened. You know, maybe you need to go within and heal from something. I feel like you do because the the high priestess goes within, you know, goes, bees by herself, you know, decides to take a time out. So you may want to take a time out this week to reflect on something that has happened. And I think you are going to be reflecting on something that has happened. Um... We definitely have an individual here with that Hierophant reverse that um, is not very spiritual. They're not. They're, they, maybe this has to do with a commitment. You could be dealing with somebody that is um, does not want commitment, does not want marriage. You know, and you may realize that the High Priestess is, is somebody that realizes things through gut, through intuition, through observation. I feel like you are going to obs observe something about a partner that you are with that um, you may have been ignoring maybe you were ignoring the truth you know but I feel like this week you know you're you, you can't ignore the truth I feel like you're gonna the truth is gonna come out you're gonna see it very clearly I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very very aggressive this person likes to fight they like to fight you know, it comes before the Six of Wands, the Five of Wands. This person bl may blame you for everything. They, they lie a lot. They don't want to be held accountable for their actions. Whoever you're dealing with is probably going to be held accountable by their action, for their actions. This person um, <sighs> doesn't do things uh, the conventional way. Okay, they do the opposite of what they say. And I feel like it's it's going to be made clear, and it could be made clear publicly. So I don't know if it's public embarrassment or what. Um, Ten of Cups, that is happiness. It is happiness, but tens are also completions. So I do believe that you have a new door that is opening for happiness, a lot of happiness where you will be extremely happy. You know, you will be extremely happy with a partnership. But you, some of you may need to be alone to reflect on whoever it is that you are committed to right now. You need to really think. You need to go within and listen to your gut. And it feels like for some of you, you haven't been listening to your gut. This week, you're going to really need to listen to your gut about a relationship. And you're going to have to make a choice because the the justice card is two sides. You know, you're and it's a choice. So I do believe that you're going to have to make a choice this week. You're going to have to make a choice. Do you want happiness or do you want to... Uh, continue to fight? Do you want to continue to live in the uh, shit storm that you've been in? So I do believe that you, uh, you know, you have an opportunity for happiness here, but you're going to have to not worry about what society thinks, not worry about what, you know, the social pressure. You have to do what's right for you. Don't worry about what anybody else has to say or anybody else has to, to think. Okay, don't worry about their opinion. You have somebody around you that is very, very noble. This person is noble. This person is, you know, battle ready. They will fight for you. They will protect you. They have been through a lot in their uh, life. This is somebody with life experience. This person can help you. They can help you to heal. They can help you to get to that better place. So I do believe that there is somebody that is around you that can bring you happiness. And I, but I feel like there's maybe there's fear of commitment here. I mean, the hair of font reversed is, it could be the end of a marriage or something. You know, I feel like some of you are a commitment. You have to choose though. You have to choose. Do you, you know, listen to your gut and accept the truth and be honest with yourself or do you uh, stay where you're at because of social pressure you know what I mean there's social pressure here having a hard time doing the right thing because of society that is the hero font reverse and there's dishonesty here and there's a need to be honest there's a need to to wake up 
you know, and see the truth and accept the truth and, you know, take your power back as well. I feel like you've given your power away to somebody. You know, somebody has uh, taken your power away and you've allowed them to. Anyway, I feel like this week you probably are going to be deciding that you don't want to fight anymore, you know, because... I feel like you're gonna be like, you know, I don't want, I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to fight anymore. Or somebody else is making the decision. If it's not you, it could be the law. It, we're all done fighting. This fight is over. This, the battle is over with the six of wands. It is victory after sorrow. So I do believe there's gonna be something that happens this week that probably causes an uproar. And I don't need the tower. I can see it with that justice card. This is karma. Somebody's getting some karma. Somebody that has abused their power. The Hierophant reverse. I feel like it's a father figure. The Hierophant is a father, right? Or somebody that's in a position of authority. It's somebody that it could be a boss or something like that. It could be a husband. Somebody that is um, not very spiritual and doesn't do what they say that they are going to do. I feel as though this person is not telling the truth. They think they can get away with it, but they can't get away with it because the laws of karma see straight through a situation. They do. Somebody's getting karma this week. They are getting karma. They may be they may be they may have gotten themselves into a relationship that wasn't truthful, that wasn't honest, that, you know, wasn't real. And they may have done that. You know, and I feel like that maybe this week, you know, it's all coming to an end. It feels like it is. When I, whenever I see lightning, it's there's there could be a sudden change. There's there's lightning in this card. Lightning comes out of nowhere. Something is going to come out of nowhere. Okay, and and it's gonna it's gonna be. And you notice that accident. That's something that came out of nowhere. Okay, it just it just happened, and it happened for a reason, though it did happen for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. So anyway, I feel like this week you're gonna be reflecting on something that happens. You may receive some news that you totally did not expect to receive. Okay, um, but maybe you sensed it was coming. You just didn't know when it was coming. It could come this week. You know, the storm can only last for so long before the sun comes out. So I feel like you are very intuitive. I think I feel like you've been sensing that happiness is around the corner, that this is all going to end very soon. Or you may have been sensing that there things were going to come to a halt sooner or later. Well, they are coming to a halt. This whole situation is coming to a halt. It is. It is. And I, I do feel as though uh, somebody has abused their power. And whoever this person is that, is that has abused their power, they are about to lose it. Okay. They're about to, they're about to lose the control. Okay. And they, and they may lose it publicly. And if, and if they lose it publicly, that's going to get them in trouble. It's going to get them in more trouble. Okay. There's something about public, something about public, the publicity, you know, that's what's going to get them in trouble, you know. Um, so anyway, what else do we got? Four of Cups. Let's get one more. What is this four of cups? Eight of cups. Saying goodbye to somebody. You're probably going to need to go within for sure with the high priestess. The high priestess, you know, chooses to be alone, needs to take a time out to reflect on whatever is happening. So something is happening this week where you are going to need to reflect. You're going to need to be alone. You're going to need to go within. Um, somebody is leaving, they're going somewhere, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, with that eight of cups, that is, you know, the choice has been made and, made, and I don't know if it's made by you or, or somebody else, a choice is being made, a choice is being made to depart. Okay. The eight of cups is goodbye. There's discontent. There's no love here. I'm not interested in this. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. This isn't love. There's no love in these cards. This, there is right here with the Ten of Cups, but it's after this, well, the Hierophant is a separation of some sort. It is, it's, it's, it's like a broken marriage, it's a broken relationship. 
but this is and this is the end of a relationship and there's an opportunity for happiness there is for a happy relationship with somebody that is noble somebody that will protect you somebody that w there is a protector here there is a protector here so there's some sort of protection there could be somebody coming in i don't know if it's from you know um and that that is in a protective position you know they work for um protective services or something like that anyhow the four uh, because this is like a this is somebody that is i don't know if they're in the military this could be in the military um this is somebody that had that their goal is to protect their goal is to protect so this is somebody that is in a professional position that is wanting to protect somebody anyhow the four of cups is discontent I don't want it I'm not interested you know this is a individual that has an opportunity that they don't want it's like no I don't want this I don't want this I'd rather be alone I'd rather be alone you may be getting an offer that you don't want this week you may. And you may. Well, the thing is, I think you have two options because of that justice card. That's two sides. You know, that's that's two. Uh, I feel like you have two options. I feel like you may be getting an offer from somebody that has, you know, lied to you or something like that, you know. Um, and you're going to have to really go within to think about it. You are. You also have a uh, experienced individual here who is noble that. Oh. wants to have a relationship with you so the choice is going to be yours you're going to have to use discernment this week I feel, also feel as though some of you are going to be saying goodbye to somebody okay because of that eight of cups that is goodbye or somebody's going to be saying goodbye to you it could go either way that, that is goodbye there's a lot of sadness here with the Four of Cups. There could have been a third party situation, you know. Somebody missed an opportunity. Maybe somebody missed an opportunity with you. Maybe they want another chance and you have another option now. So anyway, I do believe that uh, maybe you're going to be giving somebody a wake up call. Some, if you, whoever you're dealing with is not very spiritual. They're not very spiritual at all. They're not very awakened. And they've probably caused you a lot of discontent and emotional disappointment. And I feel like this week, you know, there's a new door that is opening that can help you to heal. They can help you to heal from this person that has abused you in some way. Okay? Um, so, yeah, you have a warrior here. You have a warrior here that will protect you. But you have to choose not to fight, okay? You have to choose to not to not fight with or fight it. You have to choose to not, you know, play dirty, you know, get dirty, you know, something about getting dirty. You know, somebody plays dirty. You're dealing with somebody that plays, because I, well, I said at the beginning something about getting dirty. You're dealing with somebody who plays dirty, okay? And I feel like uh, their days of playing dirty are over. That's what I think. I think they're going to be getting there's some sort of karmic consequences here. That's what I see. There's karmic, I mean, judgment is karmic con consequences. It is. And you're going to be victorious. You are. So there's there's some sort of situation that happens that gets, I don't know if it gets the law involved or what. But whatever happens, it leads you down another path. Some of you may be choosing to be single. I mean, the high priestess typically chooses to be single. This is somebody who says, you know what? I'm going to work on my spirituality. I'm going to work on myself. I choose to be single. Goodbye. So that could be the case for some of you. The high priestess is also very seductive. It's a very seductive energy. So I feel like for some of you, you may be presented with, you know, somebody. It feels like there's somebody here that 
want you to give them a chance. They want to be in a relationship with you. If you're single and you've chosen to be single, you may not want a commitment with that hero font reversed. You know, some, and that this is really about for a lot of you, whether you're commitment, whether you're in a commitment or not. It's like, do you want a commitment or do you want to be single? What's what that was? What's your choice? You're gonna have to make make a very significant choice this week. Do you want a commitment or do you want to be single? Good luck.